So this is um, this is going to be Cody and Nick on tape. Uh, I think I'm going to start a new thing from Cody Dixon on tape because it's me and you, bro. Yeah. From here on out. From here on out. <laughs> we, we might get too lazy to do another one. Yeah, exactly. This one took a while. Like to put together. No, uh, it's more like we took a while to just hang out and shit. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't include this would have happened, too. all this time. I wouldn't include the Super Smash Brothers brawl playing and the production time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good point. Cody and Nick on tape. But Why is how is Strawberry Shortcake? Right? I don't. Yeah, scroll up. So <laughs> we're on Netflix right now. I guess I just kind of got the idea for uh, this subject like really randomly. Uh, I was I was on my Netflix on my Xbox and um, I was looking at the recently added. And uh, I saw two clown faces. There's like a fat clown face and a skinny clown face. And I know what that is right away. <laughs> That's the insane clown posse. That's um, Violent J and uh, what's the other one? Shaggy Tito. Shaggy Tito. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen, so I wasn't cheating. Oh, okay. I remember I played on um, Backyard Wrestling, which yeah, is the insane <laughs> clown posse video game. So yeah, I, I know who they are. are. I read the movie together. But I mean, I I, I know kids who friends, people, people yeah. who are adults now, <laughs> yeah. who are obsessed with, like, juggalo culture. Okay, okay. And St. Cloud Posse, you knew those I've kids. seen that episode of Work I mean, like, like, did you, did you in high school see those kids hanging out with each other? Yeah, 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 and then those pants with all the zippers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. they're big components <laughs> of, like, the goth pants. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember I owned, like, one pair. I don't understand, the cover makes no sense, dude, at all. Okay, so yeah, what we're looking at is Big Money Rustlers, the insane clown posse movie. Uh... Well, the cover, yeah, uh, the uh, fat one smiling. It, yeah, Violent he's all happy. Smiling. This nigga's like Shaggy Two Dope looks like he's taking it a little more seriously. Yeah. yeah he's well, like, okay, I can tell you because I've seen half of this movie. I, okay. I stopped watching because I had to go to the shop. Okay. But um, so Violent J is the dude who pretty much has taken over this town, and like he's the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. runs this town because on the he's sound, the local strongman. Yeah, the sign survive. on the town says. Welcome to Shitsville, or whatever it is. Okay, yeah. Population 180, no guns. <laughs> so I guess one day, okay. Violent J and, like, two of his guys... Like, he only has two guys. He doesn't have, like, okay. a army or nothing. Oh, wait, he has two guys and then one actual badass guy. The other two are, like, comedic... Yeah, yeah comedic relief, okay. <laughs> but uh, they come into town and just take it over because town is a no-guns-allowed town. Okay, so it's easy to take that's over. A, that's a pretty deep <laughs> story, I guess. Yeah, that, 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 you know, you can tell it was written. And Shaggy Two Dope is uh, used to be from that town, and then left there, and uh, became a badass, and has been traveling America, and then comes back to see that someone's taken over. But here's what I don't fucking get: like, they have no relation to each other, really, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They they both wear the same makeup. You so know? You're telling me they're always wearing this makeup in the movie? Oh, yeah. So they don't so even, they they don't even take it off in the movie. Yeah, and there are random citizens in this movie that have clown makeup on. So I guess in this reality, some people are just <laughs> born with clown makeup. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh... You're right, they came out of the movie. Shaggy Too Dope, Skinny Clown, uh, meets uh, some Native Americans on the trail. Okay. And they, like, hold them up until, like, uh... Shaggy and the head Indian recognize each other and do like a gangster handshake. <laughs> okay. and the, the head Indian had clown makeup. Oh wow! Okay. And the mortician in the Wild West town. Like, I like this guy. I, you can tell it's a white dude, but he's like he is. He's like the random normal hero in it. He's like a Mexican. He's like sort of like a Zorro sort of guy. <laughs> oh, okay. He happens to be on the good guy's side. Okay. And I don't get why he's even in the movie though. Okay. Okay, but so, anyway, that's what I've gathered from watching it so far. We're going to okay. watch it right now. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about it afterwards. Okay. Um, would you have any, like, expectations that, like, do you, I mean, you're probably... Um, I, expectations? I don't know. I expect a bad movie. Uh-huh. Bad acting. <laughs> that's about it. Rustlers instead of rustlers. How do you like, think they came up with the idea to make a movie of... Yeah. And who the fuck allowed this? Who paid for this? I want I can't wait to see like the, the company's name. Dude, Psychopathic Before. Records. That's the name of they, the so they, they, that, posse. So themselves. Did Dude, they probably make enough money to be able to put out a movie. Think about like every. Dude, I can't think of one in Saint Cloud Posse song. Right? Every like post goth kid who likes ICP in America gets I guess money. It's like a cult thing, yeah. It's like okay, it's like Pearl Jam. You like Pearl Jam? You're gonna buy everything that's Pearl Jam, like. I would. I would definitely relate Pearl Jam. <laughs> to Saint Cloud okay, but uh, let's. Let's do this. Time to Annie up. Oh no no! Before you do this, just click five stars. Give this. Just give this five stars. Just give five stars. Five stars. <laughs> uh, 
All right, here we go. Rock and roll. Uh, here's here's the break. Peace. <laughs> Big money rustlers, <laughs> big money. <laughs> I know, I can't even remember that song. <clears throat> right? That song was not too shabby. So we're back here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We took like a little break in between watching the movie. Yeah. And coming back tradition. to talk about it, but um. <sighs> yeah. It was. It was. Would you say that was a good movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, I was gonna say it's a good movie, then I was like, wait, I don't know what it was. <laughs> um. I definitely say that I would rather live in the current world where I've seen the movie. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't. I, I'm not. I like, regret watching it. Yeah. 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 I'm <laughs> not like, I just wasted my time. But I'm not gonna say it's a good movie. I think it's a good insight into like the world of like people that live at that level of like uh, yeah. of like interest in yeah. insane clown posse because you learn what their sensibilities are. I guess that movie's a re- really good s- representation of, of what they are. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Okay, so like I guess I guess before we cut off the tape, I was explaining um, like my take on the movie because I'd only seen half of the movie. Yeah. And um, I tried to explain to you. I mean, did did my explanation sort of like? No, <laughs> like you can't. You couldn't have prepared me for that. Like, like you did. I feel like if you didn't explain anything and I started watching it, it would have been way worse. True. It's like like it, it started pretty bad. I had no idea what was going on. Right, 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 right. right. So, like, it didn't start like. It doesn't start on the main character. Exactly. It starts uh, with, with the... Oh, uh, when he was puffing on that cigar. Oh, uh, with his fucking... Uh, the... When he was... At the poker when, table. At the, the poker p- table, and he murders the two, the two dudes for useless poker chips. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he fucking... Because he owns the fucking place. Yeah, so. you find out later that he's like the, the crime boss because he owns the casino. Exactly. The saloon slash casino. Exactly. So what... Why do you need those poker Exactly. <laughs> what, what value do those hold to you? <laughs> or whatever. Uh, and then when, when he's fucking saying people, someone's gonna come between his motherfucking money, like he says every five minutes of the oh, movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> trying to make that a catchphrase, like, yeah, yeah. I'm alright, just as long as I get my motherfucking money. Exactly, that's exactly what it was. They tried to make that as catchphrase. That's, um, that's Big Baby Chips. Big that's, Baby Chips. That's the fat, insane clown. And Violent J. Violent J. That's, that's right. Violent J's character. Mm-hmm, okay. And so, then yeah, go, go. Go through with your description of it. Okay, so, movie starts with this guy. He's just in charge of a town. Doesn't tell you why. You just know he's a bad guy, right? Uh, that, that's when you meet the retard sheriff. Who is <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking... Bud- I don't even know. Like, like in another movie, he would have been a drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't exactly seem like that in this movie. It seems more like he really is mentally handicapped, the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah exactly. It's not like he was a drunk. He was, he, there was something wrong with his brain. I, did, I don't even think they showed him drinking. Yeah, yeah, he never drank. He was no. just stupid. He he talked like this, like yeah. he didn't understand <laughs> ideas too good. Yeah, and he had a stroke because half his face was like. That's right. That's that's what he thought a retarded person looks like. like a stroke victim. A stro- <laughs> or maybe that was just part of his backstory that he just made up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they gave him creative freedom. Actors, to like be well, that that's that's an acting technique. Actors, I learned this at theater camp, by the way. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Actors will create their like maybe a backstory for their character and like write it down just so that like if they they just think about their character all day. And stuff, yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. But, um, Absolutely makes sense. Okay. So we yeah you meet the sheriff and the sheriff like tries to tries to to tell cause there's no guns allowed in the town. So yeah, it says so on the sign. Yeah, yeah, it says so on the signs of the town, so you know it's a big deal. And uh, he tells, you know, Big Baby Chips, you're not allowed, you know, to have guns. By the way, everybody had guns in that movie. Everybody had guns! <laughs> yeah, the entire movie. The Every shopkeeper, yeah, the shopkeeper uh, came out with a gun when he, with the, the Bigfoot dude. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. So he tells him to put the guns away. Uh, you know, Violet J is having none of that, he says, tells him, though. Mm-hmm. And then he, he runs and cries, the sheriff, he cries away. And, uh... Whatever, then you meet uh, Shaggy Too Dope, a.k.a. Sugar Wolf, and uh, he, <laughs> on his way to the Mudbug, the town where this all takes place, he kidnaps a, a blonde chick, I believe, and... Oh, you have to explain the process. You have to explain the process. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we, yeah, we see um, Sugar Wolf, Sheriff Sugar Wolf, that's what it says on the AMDB. He's, <laughs> he's, he's traveling. Yeah, I guess. He's well, a wanderer. Be, no, he was at someone's grave. He was at his aunt and uncle's grave. That's right. That's where it starts. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's at his aunt and uncle's grave. And uh, I wrote this down. What were their names, Nick? Oh, shit. Uh, aunt May and Uncle Anus? Just in case you don't think you heard that right. Yeah. Aunt May and Uncle Anus. Yeah. 
And uh, and and his horse uh, Snowflake, right? Was that it? I don't know. That's a pretty horse, though. I yeah. still got like. I oh, remember the camera shot? That was just pure horse anus, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Right in the middle of him riding through a beautiful field, they got right up like yeah, like three, like one quarter of the screen was just horse anus. Like yeah, like they made sure to get like the donut hole. The yeah, horse's he, exactly. Butt. The tail wasn't in the way; it was just straight anus, and like that could have been a. It was a very quick shot too. Yeah, but it was long enough for them to, for you to, to make know eye that contact. They well, no, it was long enough for them to like you know that they wanted yeah. you to see that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. it was subtle. Was it supposed to be a joke? I don't get it. I don't know. So he's walking through the field, and then he meets... Uh, he comes across the family. This family that, like... That they obviously they know love him. Yeah, they, they, they know, know him. he's the shit. Yeah. yeah, they know he's the shit. And the guy, like, the man of the house, or the man of the the, 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 the log camp, or whatever they were living at... No, 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 they had a carriage. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, Oregon Trail. Mm-hmm. They were they were living Oregon Trail. Right. And uh, he tries to give him his horse. <laughs> and, and he's just take my horse. My one my horse. horse. It was like yeah. a one horse. Oh, horse. Yeah, what would his family do without that horse? But okay, so he's like, no, Shaggy doesn't want the horse. Sugar Wolf doesn't want it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, I'll take your wife. So he's like, no problem. Oh, well, gold. No, this wasn't dialogue. This is like in a montage. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was that, exactly. Music playing, and they all did it silently it was just with motion. like gestures. Exactly. It was like a silent movie that you know, Tom said it in the Totally. And uh. And she's ecstatic to go with him. She kisses her kids goodbye. She jumps on that <laughs> bitch, and, and they ride off together. And like, and then it, and then it goes back, and, and they had, they had just you know fucking had their way with each other. And he just leaves her like in the middle of somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Like on a on on the floor. It was like like nighttime. They had the fire going. Yeah, they had a fire, and and he's, he's like, sorry, I can't stay with you. <laughs> yeah, and he just leaves, and she's like crying, and uh, and that was the last you saw of her. And like we were talking about, do you think she has any survival skills? Yeah, do you yeah. Think she's gonna be able to navigate the wilderness to find her family. Does she know the North Star? How many miles do you think they rode out on that horse before right? they decided to stop and book? Yeah, right. I don't know. How long could you last? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, like inside of a woman or like on the trail? Um, I don't know. I might be able to. Uh, like after make a hot day. sharp enough to kill a squirrel. Oh yeah, yeah. Could you do that? I mean, in the dairy. I don't think I could. Okay, continue. Though. Okay, Sorry. so. Whatever, so then he makes it to the town, where and he's immediately threatened by like the, the gatekeeper. I right, guess. right. What was what was the what was the the, the phrase they said? Um, if you're not from here, you you get laid here or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which makes like, did he mean die? I guess. Oh, wait, wait, because everyone in the town's a prostitute. So if you're not from here, you get put down here. Is was that what he said? Maybe that makes maybe. more sense. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. So maybe he said that. And and that guy's sole job was just to, to update the population. That's time. right. Oh, this movie had sort of a semi-narrator. Yeah, the, the, the gay the dude that guy. sit at that sat at the sign for the town. Yeah. And he he, he kept constant updates on the population. Exactly. You know? He like kept the bulletin points. Like like he had uh like three sets of numbers zero through nine. Yeah. <laughs> he would just constantly change the and population. Every time a character was killed off, he would he would change it. Yeah. It would go to him changing the population. It could only be a three-digit number. That town is has a glass ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, you only see the one street the whole movie. You see the saloon, the general store, and the sheriff's office. And the... What, what was the... What was well, the that's right. We were, we were sort of thinking about it. Like, we were wondering, like, um... Because this movie, I guess, is a prequel to stuff. We didn't know until we looked at the Wikipedia page yeah. after we watched the movie that it's a prequel to a movie that's set in New York City. Yeah. But Big Money yet, Hustlers. It, look, it's a Western in all ways. Yeah. And we're, like, we're wondering what... Well, well, the first question was, why would an insane clown posse make a cowboy movie? Yeah. Because until now, they've been about, like, the dark carnival. And yeah, shit. exactly. And now, listen, guys, I'm, I, yeah, we I'm not deep into insane clown posse at all. I The kids I hung out in high school with yeah. Yeah. were deep <laughs> into ICP. But, okay, um, that's how you know. Dark carnival, yeah, that's... Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah. Okay. So, but we also thought that in California, there'd be, like, old... Western sets like ghost towns that yeah. they just happen to still have around yeah. and shit. So yeah. they're just like, this is a place to shoot a movie. Exactly, and so the, and they roll and they roll with it. Yeah. Or like, you know, they knew someone that had a Western set, and like, and it makes perfect sense now that why they made a Western because on the Wikipedia page and it's a prequel to the first movie, and they're like, these uh-huh. characters are like the ancestors of the people in in the first movie. Is that what it said? That's what it said. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was just they, like, yeah, they, like both of them, the two main, the Violent J and Shaggy Two Dope. They're people, they're ancestors. Oh, oh. We should also say that this is like an alternate universe because apparently there there are some people that come of clown heritage. Like 
they don't ever <laughs> say it. They don't. They don't say it at all. Yeah, but they're just some dudes in random clown makeup. Like, yeah. Because I guess this movie has like it's a lot of the actors are psychopathic records artists. Yeah. But also, I'm guessing they cast a lot of fans of the movie too. Yeah. Because because there's a lot. There's a good amount of people. It wasn't. Yeah, they had extras to spare. Yeah, exactly. They love their fans like that too. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. they party with their fans. Yeah. Okay. Literally. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I can see that happening then. I mean. I mean, and like the whole like time period thing. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. Like yeah. Tom Sizemore was in this movie at one point. But that that could be another thing we talked about. I don't think we got into there in the story <laughs> yet, but we we should bring it up. Um, you <laughs> noticed this because you watched uh what's what was uh, the surreal life. The surreal life. VH1. I don't know when, a long time ago, they had a TV show called The Surreal Life, and it took people, like, it took, I think the whole thing of the show was, like, they were, like, they were, like, B-list celebrities, like, they weren't, like, top-tier celebrities, like, Tom Cruise. Wait, you know what? I think that most of those people eventually went on to, like, rehab TV shows, right? Yeah, most of them, yeah. Like, Isn't that weird? I, yeah. Isn't that weird? Like, yeah. that's, like, Tom Sizemore did? Yeah. The sequel to that reality show was, was The Rehab, was the rehab show. show. Yeah, because, no, that, like, a famous scene on that show is Vanilla Ice getting in a fight with Ron Jeremy. And he destroys like the set. Of, like, I remember Winnie just pissing in the living room. Yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, like off the movie of a all the people in it. Off a rascal scooter. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And and he like, ah oh, man, dude. Yeah. And this movie just has all those people in it. Has Ron Jeremy, Vanilla Ice, fucking Bridget Nielsen. Right. Ron Jeremy plays um uh, uh Sheriff Sugarwolf's father. Yes. That was supposedly killed by Big Baby Chips. Yes. Because yes. not only is Big Baby Chips the most gangster motherfucker in town. By the way, his crew. You guys want to guess what the crew is that took over this town? Oh, it's four good. dudes. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's Big Baby Chips, and then there are like two bumbling fools. Henchmen yeah. he has. What are their names? Um, uh, Dusty Poot and Raw Stink. <laughs> Dusty Poot and Raw Stink, played by uh, Madrox and Monoxide. Both <laughs> those dudes are down with ICP. And then he had, um, he had one serious. He was always covered up, like his face was always covered up. Yeah, one serious saw. bodyguard that did one spinny shotgun move like that. Yeah, that was his thing. That's and how you knew he that was, was good at shot. That's yeah. how you knew he was good at shotguns because yeah. he did the spin move. <laughs> he had like he had like it taped off and everything. Uh, I don't fucking know. Did it ever show them taking over the town? No, right? Um, I think it showed. I them remember a scene in, of like no, it showed them riding into town on and horses. But they chased really a crowd of people, and that's how they took over the yeah, town. Yeah, exactly. And they were all just like, "Okay, no problem." People yeah. in town are like, "Hey, you remember that day we got chased by them?" Because <laughs> yeah, like, how, did he, how did he get the casino that he had? Uh, well, I guess I'm guessing he shot the dude who owned they, it before. Yeah, and according to Western law, that means you own that. Well, I mean that town's fucking stupid. They deserve it. Why don't they have guns? Right, right. But but they all had guns. This movie. Why, why didn't Why didn't they telegraph? to the nearest town or to like the the marshals yeah or like you know yeah or like they helped each other out like why that. Was, was why was that stupid stroke victim the fucking sheriff who elected him well there? i'm guessing that, well okay we're, we're doing hypotheticals now about this movie because that's what you do in a bad movie you try to make it better by creating history yeah, yeah. but uh probably all the brave men all the braver men are killed or left the town that's all that's left man yeah. oh no his his brothers were sheriffs, remember? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, like... Uh, they, were, they were all killed by that guy. Big Baby Chips probably just installed a coward into the government. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, so where were we? Um... Uh, I don't know. Who does he start meeting? Like, who's the first person he meets when he gets into town? The bartender. No, no, he goes He goes to the sheriff's office. Sugar Wolf, yeah, he goes to the sheriff's office and um, becomes the sheriff. Tell him what he uh, tell him what he does to the sheriff in order to get him out of there while he oh, yeah. takes over the town oh, and cleans yeah. up the sheriff. Well, department. no, because first he goes and sees his mom. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. First he goes to the bar and he talks to the bartender. He's like, "Who's the, the purest, most beautiful lady in the world?" Her no, no, no. He used to live in the town, so he's looking for his mom. Yeah, yeah. Is there's what he said. this sweet, innocent old lady that used to live here. Yeah, <laughs> and oh, you're talking about hand job, <laughs> Hannah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and that's when, the, when you first see the pimp slap. That was apparently right. He was hand. interrogating the bartender and uh, used a pimp movie. slap. Yeah. To get. <laughs> to get. They 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 had the slapping sound effect and they had uh, oh, the Shaggy Two Dope just slapping multiple people in this movie. And it wasn't even his arm. They had they, they had like a prop arm that they just slap people in the face. It was a perfect example of a joke getting old. Exactly. Like it wasn't funny the first time. Like and it. Oh, man. It seemed okay. like it seemed like they were just putting it in the movie out of habit. Like, yeah. hold up, have we had the slap in this scene yeah. yet? 
<laughs> have we done a slap yet? Let me get a readout on the last time we fucking had a slap in here. It's been three pages, boss. What yeah. the fuck are you guys doing? Well, on the Wikipedia, it said like that the original screenplay was only 40 pages long. And they had to, like, and, like some guy then like extended. Oh, well, pages. of course. Because, you know, you gotta... Wait, really? Yeah. That's what it said on the Man, you, you skimmed that way faster than I yeah, did. Yeah, I did. I, I read that whole thing, man. That's great. Somewhere. Man, it's gonna be so great doing these with you, man. I think we're gonna have more than one of these, because it's been yeah, fun yeah, just watching a movie. movie. Pay, it's only 40 pages. And then the director expands it to 70, so they can actually make a fucking movie out of it. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, he uh, he convinces the mentally handicapped sheriff to go yeah. to, from California to New York to get him yeah. to Chile. Yeah. From a very specific place called Mario's. Yeah, yeah, like, go to Mario's, man. I know this dude. Yeah, tell, him, tell him Sugar Wolf sent you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell him Sugar. And you think that that's the last we're going to see him. He was just yeah. a throwaway character. Exactly. We were never going to see him again. Exactly. But him in the, between the movie, they keep cutting to him. Cutting to him. He goes the wrong way. He goes to Mexico. Well, he goes to Mexico. Then he goes up north too far, and he's in yeah. snow. And then he sees Tom Sizemore somewhere. Yeah, Tom Sizemore is uh, once again one of the surreal life throw throwaways. Yeah. he's sunbathing. He plays himself in the movie. Yeah, he's he's wearing regular modern day clothes and he's sunbathing. He has one of those like reflector things. Yeah, and he has like a margarita in the middle of nowhere. Like I have no idea where he was. There was nothing around him. He was just in a lawn chair. Yeah, the sheriff. The sheriff logs on. And goes, hey, hey, you're uh, why why are you in Tom Sizemore? Like, what? What do you want? No, yeah. I don't want to sign yourself, any. Pretty I don't want to sign any autographs. Go yeah, away. Yeah. And he's like, oh, well, no, I mean, you know, hey, well, no, just maybe, can you, can yeah. you, can, can I get your autograph? He knows who Tom Sizemore is. Yeah, but, and yet, the movie is in the past, and you know it's in the past. Well, no, you know what, they kind of throw away that, that, you know, this is going to be a historical right, right out the bat, because they start saying, yeah, all the guns in the movie. Motherfucker. Yeah, mo <laughs> I still think we should have That's right, that's right, all the guns in the movie. All the guns in the movie are not of that era. Like, they, they sort of have revolvers. But, but they're, they're like, not. They're modern day Magnum 357, or they got like you know the modern day 45. Yeah, it's not exactly it's like not the long barrel. Exactly. And uh, it's not the uh, the old school like revolver that everybody has. And they also make references to like what, what do you say to the Indian? He, he autographed the Indian's hatchet with a yeah. sharpie. Yeah, like they didn't have sharpies. They didn't. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So uh, and so he fucking okay. So sheriff's gone. Yeah. Got rid of him. So now he's the new sheriff. Uh huh. Uh, what was his first order of business? His first order of business was making a new sheriff sign because he broke the original one off when he walked in. That's right, that's right. While I was doing he that cleaned the whole place because it was full of cobwebs. Because the, the, the retard sheriff did nothing, I guess. So he, clean, he fixes up the place, and then, uh, and then the whole town, like, is staring him down, and they're like, what the fuck are you doing here? And then, and this little girl tries to, like, talk to him and be nice to him, and her mom's like, no, he won't last like the rest of them. So... And then so and then implying that there yeah. have been more, like a, more than a couple sheriffs that tried to make the town better. Exactly. And then so but so okay. Point is the whole town is outside the sheriff station, mm -hmm. but you still hear some someone off in the distance screaming the bank is being robbed. So so <laughs> he springs into <laughs> action. <laughs> wait 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 no no. no. So, was, so he was just like they were like you fixing up the sheriff's department. He's like yeah I'm fixing up there. It's like someone's robbing the bank. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Down the <laughs> so he runs to the bank. He runs to the bank and he posts up outside the door of the bank. And some random, you know, bank robber tries walking out the door. And he hits them with the softest clothesline I've ever seen, but it still drops him like a sack of potato. Oh, right as they're running out the bank with the money. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. But it, it wasn't like a hard. It's not like like a WWE clothesline where like they fly across the ring. Mm -hmm. It was a very light, you know. And but the guy like acted it out, you know, hit the turn. Right, well. Well, we all know that um, Shaggy Two Dope has had experience with backyard wrestling, yeah, exactly. which <laughs> is, you know, of course he has experience because it's even yeah. bigger than real wrestling. And that came, that came, you know, to fruition in the midget beatdown scene. But we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> you hear that, guys? Midget beatdown scene. <laughs> Stay tuned. So, and the funny part about that was, is like he knocks out the dude, right? And it, it was one of those like swinging open doors, so like, it's not like a closed door. You can clearly see, like, someone had to see him take out this guy because he takes him down, throws him on the ground. He then, like, commando rolls past the door. It wasn't commando a barrel. roll. He did, like, a baby somersault. He did a baby <laughs> somersault behind a barrel that was way too small. And yeah, like, he wasn't even taking cover. Yeah, no, it wasn't. He, he was, was outside of it. Like, yeah, yeah, it looked like he was going to roll into cover, but he rolled, like, maybe halfway to cover and yeah. then decided to start shooting. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> then just stopped and over fire. Like, if I played Max Payne like but no, that, he doesn't I kill would... anybody. He doesn't kill anybody. Yeah. He shoots the bags of money out of their hands, shoots their hats off and shit. 
Yeah, for for how for how kind of fucked up this movie was, I'm surprised that they took so many like. Such yeah, for all the to... senseless murders that, that that big baby chips did, <laughs> people, people just walked into his office and he shot them for no fucking reason. Yeah, baby chips. He's and yet, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's in contrast because you know Sugar Wolf's the hero. Yeah. But then again, he, he does some pretty fucked up stuff. Okay, so he, he fucking saved the bank. Yeah, so, so that's how he wins the trust of the town. Right. Pretty much. That's when they accept him. It's okay. Maybe this guy will be different. He starts meeting people, hanging out yeah. in the office. Yeah. And he's doing, you know, regular share stuff. And, you know, he's uh, getting good with the ladies. Yeah. One lady in particular. Yeah. And then, okay, so... Okay, has anyone heard of... Uh, I'm sorry. I got. I, I just want to be the one to say this. You got to. Okay, so um, if, if you're on the internet right now, you should inquire, open up your Google, and uh, type Bridget the Midget into your search... Preferably video if you can um, <laughs> search the video. Make sure make sure the safe search is off. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, look for Bridget the Midget because she's uh, she's got some talent and she happens to be cameoing in this movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And um, she's she's a nice actress. She's sort of like that dude from Game of Thrones. I've never seen that show. So they have a, they have a, they have a dwarf in Game of Do Thrones. Do they? Okay. They have a short guy. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> Bridget the Midget. I already used the word midget. Why am I trying to be proper now? Anyway. Bridget okay. the Midget walks into the office and gives him uh, a cherry pie or something. It was it was a pie. She brings <laughs> she brings she brings him a pie. And this pie, the only purpose of the pie in the scene is to serve as like a sexual metaphor for the dirty things they're gonna do to each other. Because then they then the whole scene just revolves around like doing things to the pie and like how she uh, how he begs she has a nice pie and uh, yeah you got a nice pie. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Um, while oh yeah, he's and, then, the and then yeah, and then, and then he's the jerking off on his desk. Yeah, yeah, he starts <laughs> jerking off, and then he more or less has to strat on a date and shit. And then, then what happens in the movie? Then they they establish that they start dating, and that he starts living in her shack with her because yeah, he's her, lying in her, in her tiny bed. person bed. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that tiny yeah, person, tiny bed. person bed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they, they get quite into it. He he wipes up this midget. He wipes her. He, he wipes up this midget. He locks her down. <laughs> he locks it up. Yeah. <laughs> he locks it up. Um, yeah. Then they have like the whole montage of them like being together. You're right. I forgot. Like, yeah. they're, like they're whipping each other. Uh, I wrote down Vanilla Ice. What character was Vanilla Ice? It's a real life guy. Vanilla Ice. Yeah. What was he? He was just like. He was one of the random people. Was he a village or a town person? Yeah. He was a random just person in the town. Mm-hmm. And he was only in the scene in the movie for that like one scene like as the crowd scene. Oh, okay, okay. They're talking about, um, talking about baby, baby chips. Talking about he had the fastest draw. Yeah. You know how they did that? You know the fastest man in the world trick? Yeah. You want to see me run around the world? Yeah. You want to see me do it again? Yeah, that's, that was, the, yeah, that was the basis for the... That's why he's so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he, whatever. He, so, he, he looks like he doesn't possess any skills whatsoever. Okay, let's talk about the assassins. Because I guess I would say okay. the core chunk of the movie yeah. is that he sends the assassins to try and murder yes. the sheriff. Yes. Big Baby Chips. Sugar Wolf, obviously, is, you know, a thorn in, in his side because mm -hmm. he's cleaning up the town. Right. So he sends these three assassins to go t to kill Sugar Wolf. The first of which is a... I don't Let's know look what it up. Was. Let's look it up right here. Like, I, I remember. He has a gimmick. He has a gimmick. Yeah. It's, uh... Fucking Bigfoot. Where was his name? No, he wasn't the, the first. The, no, 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 the first was the ghost. The first was not the ghost. The first, was it? Yeah, the first one was the ghost. Okay, so basically, uh, Big Baby Chips sends out his assassins that he has out of town. Yeah, that... To he, come he and try and murder the sheriff. That's right, the first of which is... The ghost. The ghost. Who, who... I don't remember them ever saying he's sending him. He just kind of appeared in the town one day and started laser beaming things. That's right. It was the most random and thing ever because I had no idea what was going on. I'd only seen yeah. the movie halfway. So we yeah. I was watching a new portion of the movie at that time. Uh, exactly. And there was this dude with white hair and a hat with, like, hatchet man pins. That's the icon of the ICP, yet the main character was wearing it. Uh, like, a chain yeah. with that on also, so it confused me. I was like, what? Yeah, it made you think they were all part of the same shit. But, shape. yeah, like, this weird zombie dude just walks in and starts, like, eye beam laser beam, like, yeah, everything. Yeah, he, yeah he, he has Cyclops vision. And and the way he's defeated. <laughs> so no, that's when the, when the, when the explosions was. Oh my God! Yeah, it was the most classic fucking <laughs> Looney Tunes ass shit ever, or like yeah. a Hanna Barbera cartoon. Yeah. What? Wh how would you protect yourself if you were Johnny Quest? <laughs> you would have laser beams. 
Yeah, pretty much. You like, pick up the mirror, and yeah. that's how they beat him. Yeah. They picked up a mirror, and they shot his laser back at him. It is not 1996! Yeah, exactly, and then his head exploded, and, and it zoomed in on, like, his like his face. Right. And it was, like, his blown away face. Oh, yeah, of course they like, they got, like, gushy blood. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was the first assassin. Right. Second one, the foot. That was, his name is just the foot, I think. Was he the second one? Mm. He was the second one, and you know how you knew his name was the foot? Because <laughs> he rolled into town going, I'm the foot, yeah, bitch! His first eight lines of the movie he were, I'm James the did. foot. Yeah, he Rick James did. I'm the foot, bitch! Yeah, and he Dude. had like a steampunk wheelchair. That's right, he had a steampunk, yeah, steam steam powered powered. wheelchair. Yep. And, and he had a big, giant, like, okay, you know how a Hellboy has the right arm of Doom? Yeah, he had the, the right foot of Doom. Left, left arm of Doom or is the right hand of Doom? I don't know. He had a big, big right motherfucking nasty elephantitis foot. Yeah, and it was it was it was apparently stinky because everyone knew he was coming before oh. he was anywhere near. They them. established this because everybody put their hands over their faces when exactly. he came near them. Exactly. Yeah. And the whole time he's riding to to the town. What was the town? Mud Mud Hud. Mud Hud. What, what is it called? I forgot. Who gives a fuck? Okay, whatever. Uh, he's uh, the entire time he's on the way to the town. The uh. The, uh, Big Baby Chips' two goons are following him with clothespins on their noses to make sure that like, he gets the job done. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> because the foot is a loose cannon. Yeah, because the foot <laughs> is a loose cannon. Exactly. <laughs> so the foot gets to town. And, but before he even gets to town, uh, it, it shows uh, Sugar Wolf and, and Bridget the Midget in bed. They must have just gotten Dude, through. they've been fucking this whole time. He's supposed yeah. to be trying to find a solution? Yeah, but so he's, he's trying balls deep in a midget, though. Big <laughs> balls deep, son. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and then they make, you know, dick and pussy smell jokes because, you know, they smell Bigfoot coming. That's them. right. That's how they yeah. establish that they smell it, too. Yeah. And he's like, girl, is your pussy stanky? Yeah. And uh, she's like, oh, I, I thought, thought it was your your balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, she's like, did you wash your balls? Have you washed your balls? That's how you establish that they both have a sense of smell and they didn't lose it. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So when this guy rolls into town, first thing he says when he gets to town is, I'm Bigfoot, bitch. Or the foot, I'm the foot, I'm bitch. the foot, bitch. Yeah, and then, hilarious. So he rolls into town, right? And and most most of the town folk are running away because he's, he's a repulsive man and he smells like shit. But <laughs> the, 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 the general store owner isn't having any of it, so he busts down his door with a gun, even oh, though oh, it's oh, not with, with a semi-auto, uh, semi-auto, like, Glock pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, like, his like store a, hand like a regular exactly. semi-automatic modern day gun. Exactly. So, so this guy t- whips out a shotgun, sh- shoots the foot twice, has no effect on the foot, and the foot just rolls into him with, he hits him with his foot, and he flies, he is propelled, like... Like, like when you have an exercise ball on your stomach and you run into your friend when they're standing still and they go flying like that. Well, no, no, that was, they brought in wire foo for that. You know, uh, yeah. like, like in John Woo movies, they have, yeah. you know, the dudes on wire so they can do, like, jumps and, like, yeah. like get shot. Yeah. That, that, right. that was their wire foo budget for that. that yeah, yeah, for the whole movie. Yeah. So, so that guy gets taken out. And then the other, and then, then the, the Glock man just, he's, he's got a Glock, like, like, he's, like, like Cody said. Yeah. Semi-automatic Glock. He's got it, you know, he turned to nine o'clock sideways like a gangster, and he's just popping rounds at this guy. <laughs> All right, and, and he proceeds to run him over with his steam-powered wheelchair, and it oh, like oh, yeah. cuts through this man's body, like cutting him into three pieces. That's right, that's right. Because that's what happens. Well, well, they show him accelerating towards the man, then they cut away, and then they cut back, and he's lying on the ground with, with like holes, like, like, like... With makeup effects on his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, yeah. And then, uh, how did they, how did they defeat Sugar Wolf? Oh, yeah, and then, and then, uh, Sugar Wolf, uh, comes out of, like, the, the midget's house, and she, he's, like, on the second window, or the second story, or whatever, yeah. and, uh, and he's, like, distracting him. He's distracting the foot, and, uh, his Mexican compadre. Oh, I'm Dirty sorry, Sanchez. we haven't even mentioned Dirty, Dirty Sanchez, Sanchez at all. Um, okay, so, <laughs> this, okay, this must, Dirty Sanchez must have been the last guy who tried to be a hero in town. Yeah, yeah. And Dirty Sanchez is a man who, do you think he was really Hispanic? He had, he had blue eyes, the Spanish guy yeah, had blue I eyes like that. Did. I don't think. It sounded like he was doing a fake Mexican accent, yeah. but then again, he might have been familiar with the Mexican accent. Yeah, exactly. But okay, he, he, uh, he had a history with, uh, with, with Big Baby Chips because uh, That's right. him and his goons, they, they, they took a hammer to his hands. And my and hands! Him, my hands! <laughs> and they my put hands. him in a fire. 
And then they took him to the desert and buried him up to his Well, neck. no, no, they hit his hands with hammers. Head. Yeah, and then they burned his hands. That's right. And then they buried him. And then they up beat on the his head. Up to the head and beat on his head. Yeah. <laughs> and and then they didn't kill him for some reason. And, uh, and he, he, he helps, you know, Sugar Wolf. And, uh, and this is the first time he helps Sugar Wolf. No, he first helps him by throwing him the mirror to defeat the ghost zombie. That's right. Cyborg. That's right. <laughs> and the second time he helps him now with the foot. Wow. You know, we're, we're actually that. making this movie sound really awesome. Yeah, but no. I just want to remind you guys. Was, the movie was pretty good until this point. Until the point that we're going to get The thing was, point. okay, people of a high IQ did not make this movie. Yeah. <laughs> but it, their spirit shone through. Yeah. Like, they actually... They, they put all, everything they had into that movie. That's right. It w- it's just... It's like, it's like when your teacher says that they're going to grade on effort, not on what it looks like. Exactly. That would get an A. <laughs> like, that's exactly it. No lie, dude. No lie. That's yeah. exactly it. And, uh, so how'd they kill the foot? They kill the foot. Sugarfoot dist- distracts him with like you know a monologue because the foot's telling him how he's gonna you know no one no one's ever defeated him or whatever. And uh, Dirty Sanchez comes up and ties a rope around his foot, and then uh, and then Sugarfoot jumps on a uh, snowflake or whatever his, his pearl white her- horse's name was, and proceeds to drag him by the foot all through town. That's right. Which was all green right, Yeah, they had bad bad green screen. Effects. Oh yeah, and then and then he pulls him and makes big makes makes the foot slam into a couple boxes of TNT. That's right. Which explode on impact because that's how TNT works. When things crash into it, it explodes. Because it's not like a car hit it. Like and, and I know, I know. There, yeah, there's nothing to ignite the TNT. The TNT. But but then again, it's the, the movie logic of something hits something. something yeah, so it explodes. Explosion. Yeah. Oh, so and and then uh, we did the cool guys don't look at explosion thing. Oh no, wait, that no, was that later was, in the movie. No, that was that was near the end. Okay, man. We're going to take a break for a second. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to go back to discussing this shit because... Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. We have there's, a, there's a little bit more to talk about because we don't want to make it too long. Yeah, but the end is so controversial that there's going to be a lot to talk about. The beginning of the next part, we'll discuss something that made me get up and pace around the room like a madman <laughs> because I just... W- <laughs> and it will surprise you too if you haven't seen this movie. So uh, yeah. we'll be back in a second. So we're back now. Yeah. Um, get a little bit close. Oh man. So what? Do, oh man. We on our on our little break here we took, which yeah. I think is good. Yeah. Because we're talking a lot about big money rustlers. Rustlers. Yes. We have learned why that name is funny now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, go go. Okay. Go. We we watched um, the the movie that came out in two thousand and one for Big Money Rustlers, which came out in 2010. Yes. Big Money Hustlers and... With a dollar sign. With a dollar sign for the last S. Yep. And that's the movie the Insane Clouds Posse made back in 2001. They were around back then. Yeah. They've been around a long time. And they had enough money to make a movie. Again. But... The movie... The movie... We watched the first seven minutes and 33 seconds of it is pretty much a shot for shot remake. <laughs> it's the same fucking movie. It's the same plot. Except in a different time era. Exactly. And all the characters are named the same. What was it? Big 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 baby chips and what was his name in, the, in this one? Big Big Baby. I don't remember. Sugar Wolf is Sugar Bear and It takes it, place in the seventies. It's a seventies cop movie with yeah. both of these characters set one's a detective instead of a sheriff and the other one's like a fucking seventies Drug, drug Dude, lord, yeah. It's a very generic crime boss title he has. The same two stooges. The same two stooges. They're the same actors. That's right. The, they, they play the same character. And the, and the silent dude is still there, except he wears scuba gear for some reason. That's weird. That's not even like assault SWAT tactical armor. That's just scuba. He's it's just, just wearing, like, I guess it looked like a gas mask it's or like, a scuba It's thing. like a black spandex suit. And he had a fucking scuba mask on. But apparently, like, these guys just kept continuity and, like, made a prequel to Big Money Hustlers. They made, they made a prequel to a movie that no one cared about. And then <laughs> <laughs> it's really mind-blowing. Like, this movie has also, like, a dopey police chief who, who is, ha- like... In the, the form of a fat guy. Yeah. Who, the, the, first, the first time you see him, he's stuffing his face with a jelly donut. Like, and then going to the mirror and checking out to see if his butt's big. Of course it's still big, dude. Yeah, the, de- the donut didn't Your butt change didn't that. change in the last fucking four minutes. Exactly, exactly. And, and yeah, so, I mean, I, don't, I feel like I don't have to watch this movie because it's going to be the same thing. 
maybe minus the midget? Or maybe there's another big... Um, it says that um, 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 Mick Foley... Um, oh, yeah, Mick Foley's in it. WWE. He was Mankind, yeah. Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack. Dude, Dude Love, love. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we know a wrestler. <laughs> Dude Love. Um, and then... God, who is... Oh, the Misfits, the band, the Misfits, the oh, fucking yeah. great punk rock group. They're in here. I gotta, sh- I gotta have you listen to some of them. I've heard them a little bit. They're great. They're like rockabilly a little bit, too. Yeah, okay. Um, but, yeah, so anyway... We need to keep talking about big money wrestlers because that's what yeah. we came here to do. What was the last thing you said? Um, we just killed the foot. We killed Who's the foot. Who's the last bodyguard? Was there three of them? Th- yeah, the, the third assassin is, is, is you know, the, the twist. That's right. That was the third assassin. So, um, there, are, there are a few... We have a few allies in town for Sugar Wolf right now. Yes. Okay? His mother? His mother. Hannah. You know? Hannah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Jason Mewes. Jay, oh, yeah. Jay and Silent Bob's in this movie. He's the deputy because, uh, you know, Sugar Wolf realizes that he needs a deputy in this town. He needs help in the sheriff's department. Yeah, no, he, he didn't need someone to babysit people while he's screwing the midget. That, that, is so <laughs> that was the sole purpose. That was the sole purpose. I never even saw that. I didn't even realize that. Because he can't be there to watch, like, the prisoners. So who do you pick? The man who pisses his pants, pants most every time tower. anything happens. He pisses I'm sorry. Of piss. This man is played by Jason Mewes of uh, Jane Sound Bob. Her, yeah. I am a huge, like, Kevin Smith fan. Yeah. I love all of his movies. I, I listen to the Smodcast every single day, weekly, yeah. or the Smodcast Network. Yeah, yeah. Real talk, dude. I can listen to Kevin Smith talk all day because he plays J- Silent Bob in the movies. Yeah. But he... He, he comes from, like, you know, like a small town, like, in New Jersey, fucking um, Red Bank. Okay. You know? Okay. You used to live in Brooklyn or something, right? The Bronx. The Bronx? <laughs> yeah. I guess it was like a, a town that wasn't too far away from the bridge or something in okay. Jersey. Okay. And, uh... He... I'm sorry, guys. I'm going off the subject because I like <laughs> this so much. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. maxed out, like, his credit cards. He was he was like us, dude. We both work at, like, um... It rhymes with McDonald's. Okay. That's where we work. Okay. <laughs> he worked at, like, like, convenience stores where he got the inspiration for Clerks. And, okay. you know, That's like, cool. a deli and stuff. And, um, like, did half a semester of film school. Because, <laughs> like most of us that have grown up in this generation, we feel a laziness yeah, over us. Yeah, exactly. And he, did yeah. Half, he did half of that, and he came back because he felt like he had enough knowledge to make a film. And he just did. Yeah. He got one of his friends from film school to help him do it. Okay. And just people from the local theater in town. That's cool. But, dude, literally, he was going to be in, like, he was going to be in debt trouble if that Insert. movie didn't, yeah, like, if, if somebody you, didn't pick that movie out of the pile. Yeah. And, and it worked for him, so... Yeah, I, think I, about I it, dude. It. Think about all the fucking lonely-ass dudes like me <laughs> that just listen to, like, dude, podcasts are a good replacement for friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. got to have real ones like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. besides that, so, okay. All right, Jason so Mewes is one of his allies. One of his allies. The other okay. being Dirty Sanchez. His, Dirty Sanchez, of course. His, 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 yeah, the that. guy who helped him dispatch the first two assassins. Right, his mother, his mother Dirty Hannah. Sanchez... Uh, and, uh, his girlfriend, I guess. That's Bridget. right, Bridget, Bridget the Midget. The midget. What That's was the real name in the movie? Her no character's idea. name was Bridget Nielsen as Lady. Her name was just a lady. Yeah. Just Lady. Lady. Like Lady and the Tramp. She was named after the dog. She was named after the dog. But, no, she's not, dude. You were, Bridget the Midget, if you ever listen to this, you're such a lovely person and I would love to be with you. <laughs> Wait, yeah, because I actually, dude, okay, I'm sorry. She was cute enough in this movie to where I would, like, I'd... Did you, did you think about it? Because, dude, just like she's like a regular girl, just like you know, stubby in some places. Yeah, she's tatted up and shit. But I mean, there there are things you can overlook even with regular size girls. Yeah, I mean. Okay, yeah, no, okay, okay. So anyway, I'm saying so. Yeah. Um, those she, are his allies. So those are his allies. Okay. Which one do you think is most likely to betray? <laughs> well, I can't answer that. Sugar Wolf, because I know he did it. I didn't know. I don't know. I, I know who did it. Bad, bad question. Okay, so. Okay, so here we go. Sugar Wolf and Bridget the Midget are just lying in bed. And um, he's like spilling his guts, like talking about maybe yeah. having doubts about yeah, being able to kill all the assassins died. so many times. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I don't remember the exact the words, but Bridget the Midget yeah. pulls out like a like a three fifty seven revolver. Exactly. And just like says, well, maybe you're not trying hard enough or some weird line yeah. like that. Yeah. And pulls off like a mask. Yeah. He, yeah. And, and like a latex mask. Yeah, I mean, that was a good shot, like, 
It was good. It was. I mean, it was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had all right special effects, but yeah. it was like the mask of Mission Impossible. And just reveals like this ugly, like weird buck tooth, like, you know, dwarf dude. Yeah, he had no teeth, actually. It was so odd. Dude, because you've gotten used to the idea of her, like, this yeah, being, being like an awesome, interest. weird relationship. Yeah, exactly. Like, it was going to be, like, okay. And, dude, I fu- dude, you saw me. Like, yeah, okay, I told you that. I watched <laughs> half this movie. I watched the first half of this movie. This was, like, good until the second half. Yeah, yeah. So I hadn't seen this before. I got up, and I had to walk around the room a little bit. Yeah, you did. It, yeah, dude, that was crazy. Like, I flew back in my chair, in the roller chair. I flew back and just, like... Look, look to the Lord for like you know <laughs> clarification as to what just happened in this film, and you were just running all over the room. It's it's really an M Night Shyamalan like twist. It was. That's exactly what I said when it happened. I was like, did M Night M Night Shyamalan co-write this movie? Because that that is when the movie. That's when I was like, oh no. The movie actually has spoiler alert value. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just walk. You see a juggler just walk up and say that. Just be like, bridge connected. But. Uh, what is, what is the midget, oh yeah, the midget sh- sh- blows a, a hole. Yeah, she's the third assassin. She's the he, third assassin. He, he's the third, he assassin. Is the third assassin. And the apparently, whole time. apparently, he has the ability to grow a vagina. Apparently, because I, I assume that. Because he saw every inch of her body. Yeah, and he said that he Dude, was Dude, they were the shacked up fucking five days straight. Yeah. So they must have been. And then, so she, she shoots a hand, he, damn, he shoots a hole through Sugar Wolf's good shooting hand, his quick draw hand, because the whole movie, they, they were saying that he was the quickest, the quickest draw in the entire That's world. That's right, he shoots his right hand. And he's right-handed. So, that ruined his ability to quick draw. Uh, and then that's when the beatdown occurs. Then he gets up and, and beats up the midget, and this is where... Dude, he, oh my his, god! <laughs> Here's what happens. I'm sorry, yeah, I need go, to fucking go, elaborate on this. Go. He takes the, the male midget wearing a dress, okay? There's a sh- there's a little bit like of him beating up yeah, the dude yeah. to do a little stunt work, but then it just cuts to a mannequin shot of him taking that midget by the head and performing several wrestling moves on yeah. him. And we've already mentioned that backyard exactly. wrestling, the video game. Yeah, they were involved in backyard wrestling videos. Yeah, so exactly, he has all the fake moves down. Exactly, he knew what he was doing. He was and like, and the whole and the whole the whole beatdown scene was like dubbed over with like voices that they added in after the fact. Yeah, like he was like, I'm gonna get you, midget! And they didn't try to like work <laughs> it in. Like, it clearly showed, like, Sugar Wolf's face not moving, like him not talking, but he was talking. Well, like, he was he was too busy doing all these, like, like just ridiculous stuff. Grabbing it by the hair, punching its face. Grabbing its ankles and he, slamming it. He did a pile drive into it. He picked it up, put its legs to his face, and then, yeah, it, like, sat down. Picked up a piece of a broken glass, stabbed it. Oh, he did that, yeah. Scalped it on the roof of the building. All the while, like, an obvious voice that wasn't coming from him was saying, Yeah, yeah take that, take it. get it. Yeah. You don't want none of this, son. Yeah, and I, I would say that went on for a good, like, two, two and a half minutes. It was glorious. It was, yeah. it was glorious. Don't cover up your mouth when you talk, because it's hard to <laughs> Um, and then... And then what happened? Did he kill the midget? Um... Oh, of course. Yes, of course. He's jumping, those, I remember jumping those, on his back. All those wrestling moves? Of course he killed that midget. Look, so he threw him off the thing, and then he jumped on the midget's back. Uh-huh. And then I assume he had, like, a witty one-liner for him. But I don't remember him actually killing it. There was a lot to take in in that scene, to be honest with exactly. you. Exactly. It just flew right over my head. I didn't even know it. But then what happens? Then he he goes into a depression, because he now doesn't think he's powerful enough to defeat That's Big Baby right. Gibbs. He decides to get drunk as fuck. Yeah, so he gets really drunk. And he goes to his mama's house. Wait, like, we didn't even mention how all the whiskey is named fucking, uh... Bango! Bango. Oh, okay. <laughs> it should be common knowledge, because they said this in, um, fucking, uh... Workaholics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, the, they're all into Fago. Yeah. They're all about the Fago soda. Yeah. And all the bottles of liquor in town yeah. say Fago on them. Fago on them. Like, it looks like, like Jack Daniels But bottles. it didn't look like the Fago logo, so I'm not sure they have It just was the word permission. Fago. It was just the word Fago. By the way, speaking of, because, okay, so I think that that might be, like, some copyright illegal trademark shit. Well, just like that whole scene in New York where they didn't blur anyone's faces. But maybe Fago is just, like, totally, like, decided not to sue Insane Clown Posse about they, anything because that's basically the only reason only they stay financially fl- afloat. Inept. Okay. That's what not, not inept, afloat. Yeah, inept is the complete opposite of what I was trying to do. Exactly. But Boy. here's here's another thing about maybe having like an illegal shot in a movie. By the way, I don't think that they should be busted for it at all. I don't no. think that they should have any restrictions when it, sh- it comes to like, have, well, except for maybe identities of people. But that's what yeah. I'm talking about. 
You remember our friend, the retarded sheriff? Yeah. By the way, guys, I know I'm, like, dropping these words like crazy. Retarded midget. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm just talking freely here. Yeah. Anyway. They put it out there. The sheriff made it to New York. Yes. To be more exact, he made it to, like, fucking present-day Manhattan. Yeah, even though the movie... Is a Numerous times in the movie that they, 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 they stayed. So many references to modern day. It's supposed yeah. to be in the past. Like, they said they didn't have phones. But he walks into a deli in There's present day in New it. York with yeah. like a big tatted motherfucker at the yeah. counter. Who, who wasn't Mario? Oh, my phone's going off. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that right now. All right. Okay. But um, they have shots of this oh, yeah. guy dressed like a cowboy walking by people on the street and people reacting to him in the way a hidden camera show would. Yeah, he was talking to him. He was asking him. Like, do like, you know where the shop is? Yeah, in, in his stupid character. But I don't think that they asked those people for, like, waivers or anything. Yeah, like no. That. They couldn't have. And then they had the whole hooker thing. Right, right. They Which had a hooker that, tell him where to go. And I think that they hired that hooker, like, right off to the do street. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they could have had that hooker sign the papers because they exactly. actually have lines in the movie and they gave him like 50 bucks without having exactly. to fucking suck on his dick. Exactly, exactly. And she was cool with it. That's Which I don't have a problem with either. I guess if you need to get that out of your system, do yeah. that on the street if you want. <laughs> do it on the street. I'm an open-minded guy. Don't yeah. hate me, everybody. Um, so yeah, they, he gets, and he gets the chili. He gets the chili from this guy. And then after he gets the chili, the, the, big, the big dude who gave him the chili tells him to thank... Sugar Wolf for the for some kind of cushion. That's right. Sugar remember. Wolf was not lying to the guy when at he all. said that go to New York to get yeah, this chili. Yeah, it sounded like he was. Yeah, but no. So he tells him to thank Sugar Wolf for the, the, the good cush that he got him, and then the, the sheriff asks him if he knows where he can get some gigum. Gigum. We were gonna look that up on Urban Dictionary, but I'm not even. I'm. He's like no. He's like hey, by the way, guy, do you know where I can get some gigum? Gigum. And then. And then, like, so, like, the, if the guy, the big tatted guy reacts. Yeah. It's like, he said, he's like, what's gig him? But before, like, even that, just gig him. At this point, I'm thinking it's a drug, right? I'm thinking, like, he's at this maybe kind of slang for maybe. a drug. Yeah. But then the big guy is, is like, what the hell is gig him? And he's like, are you, then he, his reply to him is, are you calling me half a fag? Are you calling me half a fag? And what does that mean? Is a gig him, a, like, does that, does, does that mean, like, like a gig job? Or, like, a, what? Yeah, thing? like, what, does that mean... You're like bisexual or something? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the tape real quick and we're going to see if we can find Gigum on Urban Dictionary or the internet because we totally forgot about that venture. Yeah, I totally did. So we're going to do that. So, oh, okay. I didn't even think about like, like, I don't know, doesn't Gingham sound Okay, so we kind of figured it out maybe. We searched it. Yeah. It seems, Gingham seems to be some type of material. Like for, for clothing. Like clothing for a sofa. Yeah. Yeah, apparently it's a type of material that, that you make. So I don't know, maybe oh, the sheriff would like made like, maybe I need a gingham coat. Like, that's yeah. our best guess, because we still can't figure this out. Because he is stupid enough to ask for that. But I guess the dude who owned this like fucking chili shop yeah. mistaked that for like a hand jog or, or something. something. Like, gingham, is that one of Exactly. Half a fag? Have you, half a fag? Has, have you ever heard anyone say that? Call me half a fag? No. Never. That, that was, that was like, like if I'm gonna call you gay, I'm like, yeah, 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 but you like pussy too, so yeah, you're half so fat, you're half fat. you bisexual dude. Exactly, exactly. That doesn't make any sense. That whole part of the movie made like. By the way, I'm not way. condoning bisexuality. Not at all. You should choose one or the other. You should choose one. I'm, I'm intolerant to the bisexuals. You need, <laughs> Gray to, is not a you need to burn in hell, bisexuals. You choose whether you be a, with a man or a woman. Yeah. You choose one. You don't choose two. Not the other guy. Exactly. You can't have your cake and eat it too. So, I'm sorry. So, we got right. off track. So, we need to get on the main story. So, he dispatched the third assassin, Bridget yes. the Midget, is slash gone. Buck Teeth, Man Midget Man. Yeah, who isn't even, like, in the credits, probably. Was he fucking the asshole the whole time? Uh, he must have been. Or maybe they just never got that far. I heard that, um, in ancient Japan, there were assassins who fucking specialized in the art of disguise. So, they would crush their nose bones and cut their ears so that they could create their own features better. That's crazy. I believe that. That was a little off subject, but I'm, yeah, just, but I'm not, just saying. Now I know that. Yeah. So. And I didn't. And one of the villains in Metal Gear Solid is Decoy Octopus, who pretends to be the president <laughs> hostage. <laughs> but I like okay. it. Okay. So, um. Okay. So at this point, he, he then. His hand's fucked up. He's his drunk. hand's fucked up. He's drunk. Goes to his mom's house to bitch. And uh, his mom tells him, you know, that to not bitch. And Play through the pain. 
to play through the pain, exactly. So, you know, he tucks his ball between his legs and he trains his left hand. He, him and Dirty Sanchez work tireless, countless hours building up the skill in his left hand. Oh my god, that was such a good montage. Yeah, so... Because, like, like um, tell them, oh man, tell them about the jerk-off part. Oh, oh yeah, they god. do, like, a Three's Company style, you think it's something that it's not joke. Yeah. It was a really easy joke to make, but, uh... He was, well. he was helping him exercise his left hand, and his hand was moving up and down in front of him. We have a shot of Shaggy Two Dope's back. Yeah. Sugar, Sheriff, whatever the fuck. Yeah. And he's sure. like, oh man, yeah, this is real good. Yeah. This feels really good. I yeah. can really feel it. And then he's like, wait, wait. Dirty Sanchez is it? in front of him. Yeah, you can't see, like, part of his hand. Yeah, he's like, mind if I touch it? He's like, no, not a problem. Then he starts going at it, uh, saying you need to keep, you know, steady, firm pressure on it. And, uh... And then and then they go. He, then uh, Sugar Wolf goes into how he's gonna put it all over his face and. No, no, no I can't wait to spread this on your buns. Yeah, yeah. And then your all of your glistening chest. And then. No, he didn't say that. He kept it more vague than like. Yeah, he said glistening chest at some point. Okay. I remember okay. reading. Oh, okay, that okay. I trust your dude. <laughs> I trust your memory because you've been doing a fantastic yeah. job. So far. Okay. All right. Okay. So then, so you find out they're churning butter. Uh huh. Uh. They're churning butter, they're guys. Churning butter. That's all they were doing. They were, were. He wasn't helping him jerk off. Yeah, and they were outside. Too. Oh my god, dude. It's 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 okay. You know what? No, you can't complain because they're just trying to make their people happy. That's something that their people would laugh at. Exactly. And I I laughed. It was it was good. I, it was done well. Right. Um. <laughs> all right. So. Okay. So the montage ends. He is. Uh, he has learned how to shoot with his left hand. Exactly. So Dirty Sanchez goes to uh, Big Baby Chips bar casino thing po- nails a uh, a fucking par- piece of parchment to the, to the wall saying, saying uh, showdown <laughs> fucking big baby chips versus uh, sugar wolf yeah. and keep in mind the, the entire movie that they've never seen each other the entire movie and uh whatever he, so he tells them to be there uh nothing happens there right no he just tells them yeah no he just says and I'm going off Shoot you! Oh, yeah. yeah, some <laughs> stupid, some stupid talk. There was like a lot of unnecessary up. talk in this movie. Yeah, because um, they weren't good at it. Well, except you know what? I'm gonna say, Shaggy Two Dope as Sugar, Sugar Wolf seems like everything was his idea, sort of. Like, like he's no, he seemed the most on board with it. He seemed he did the everyone best job. was on board with it. He just did the best job. Yeah, yeah. he knew how to ride a horse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like it looked like he actually had the right posture and knew how to yeah. mount and dismount a horse. Exactly. Uh, uh, That's not easy, mounting and dismounting horses. Except that one scene where he was like ripping its face off. Oh like, yeah, yeah. When he was like, when he was like pulling the horse, to trying walk. to make it stop. But then again, that's also probably how you make him look cool and go <laughs> by making him uncomfortable. Go on the hind legs. <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen like a like a, a horse bit? It goes like in their mouth, like their teeth are farther down their nose. Okay. So oh, you oh, have like a big space in the jowls, yeah. and you just put a, a metal bar in there. There, yeah, exactly, yeah. I guess it's not as uncomfortable from them as you think, I but I mean that's still pretty raw, still right? Bad, yeah, yeah. Okay, but um, so let's see what happens. Then, then this it's is the end of the movie, man. That's right. Um, okay, well, first of all, so big, big, uh, big baby chips arrives at the place at the How? one street. How does he arrive? He arrives. This is what I was getting to. Yeah, in the <laughs> pimp daddy horse carriage. That has flames on it. I was pretty sure, right? It, no, it was like Cholo flame print. Yeah, yeah. Cholo flame print. It had, you know, the ICP uh, the hatchet, hatchet man, man on on the rims. Those That's right, hatchet man. The rims. wooden rims, if you will. No, no, they, they were like metal. Well, the thing looks slick. It looks slick. It yeah. looks, nothing was really made of wood. Yeah. Um, yeah. His two goons, you know, were piloting it. Uh. He whatever pulls up to the place. He gets out, slams the door on one of the goons' hands, you know, because it's funny. And uh, gets out and he proceeds to yell at the town and tell him what's going to happen when he wins. How he's going to, you know, be in charge or whatever forever. <laughs> and then all of a sudden his pants just fall down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, and you were dumbfounded because you had no idea what happened. You just thought his pants fell down or something. No, I actually, I didn't see the first shot because the first yeah. shot was at him. Okay, here's, he got the character was like, I tell you what, if I lose, yeah. if I get killed in this duel, then my men will leave town, yeah. and y'all can have your pee, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, but if blah, I blah. win, what did, he, what did he say if he won? If he won, then he was going to be like the boss of them forever. I'm going to be the boss of you forever. No one would ever, you know, try to oppose him again. And 
So, and then, out of the fucking crowd, you yeah. hear a shot, and his pants fall down. Yeah. I guess I didn't see that first. But yeah. then, his bodyguards... Has, By the way, he only has four guys in the entire in town the entire loves him. Yeah. The entire town loves him now. Everybody's on his side. Yeah. Yet he still maintains power with four men. Exactly. Two of them are fucking, are, like, are fucking lose stupid. their shit all are the time. Are completely stupid. And there's one that does cool shotgun tricks. Yeah. Yeah. That but guy. the two guys at the general store are good shots. Yeah. Okay. yeah I, bet you his, I bet you his mama could handle a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Or she could at least, like, she could pull a bridge at the midget. And, you like, could pull, pull like, gun six off. more brave dudes out of those civilians. Yeah, exactly. Come on. But, and then he can, let's just, okay. Okay, so. so you find out that Sugar Wolf shot their pants down with his incredible accuracy. Yeah. Just shot the belt buckles in their pants. Yeah. So they all pull up their pants and uh, whatever. They do the ten paces. Uh, they turn around. Uh, you know, you could cut the tension with a knife. Uh, they're staring each other down. And then out of nowhere comes the, the, the stroke victim sheriff. What did he say? He was screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah. They're about to have the duel. They're yeah. doing their paces. Exactly. The sheriff exactly. just says, comes out of the nowhere, I got the chili. I got the chili. And then he falls. He well, 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 that distracted, um, that distracted you know, chips before he was going to shoot, and then fucking, that was it. And, yep, and then, and then, that the was Sugar it. Wolf shoots one bullet, and then it's just a camera shot of big baby chips, right? And he's standing there like a, like a fat ass. And, and he does, he looks fine. There's no bullet holes in him whatsoever. We're, it, throughout the whole movie, when people got shot, there were bullet holes. That's what they did in the 1950s. They didn't show, they didn't have squibs back then. Yeah, exactly. They didn't have fake blood. Exactly. It's like they ran out or something. Like so so he just did the, uh, you got me. Yeah, stuck his hand in his in his suit in jacket. Inside suit jacket. And then <laughs> pulled it out, and his fingers were red. And he and he just said, do, 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 and he fucking fell. And then, and so he's down on the ground. Um, I assume there was cheers. Did we mention that Ron Jeremy is um, his dad. Sugar Wolf's father? I don't know. Because that information would come in handy, because yeah. in his dying words... He says, hold on, son, and he pulls off his Mission Impossible fucking face mask yeah. and reveals... No, he wipes off the clown paint. He wipes off oh, the clown paint. Oh, no, pain. I'm sorry. You're <laughs> completely right. He's like, he's like, there's no mask involved whatsoever. Okay, Big Baby Chip says the Sugar Wolf, wipe off my clown makeup. Yeah. And wipes he wipes it off. it off. And then it's Ron Jeremy's face. And hair. And hair. Yeah. Because, yeah, he was bald the whole time. Guys! <laughs> guys! They baby that. chips the Sugar Wolf's father the whole time. I'm the not movie. fucking with you guys. Yeah. Watch the movie. It's on Netflix Instant right now. Yeah. Big money rustlers. Yeah, man. Dude, it was the most fucking... That like, ruined it. I wasn't expecting it to be a perfect ending. Yeah. I wasn't expecting... it was very, like, bad. But it was ended. just like, no... Okay, we live in a society right now, like, in a time where everybody thinks that, oh, well, <laughs> I can just end it the easy way and I'll still be a cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. people who go to McDonald's and order a fucking s- s- large sweet tea and then just fill it up with soda. Yeah, exactly, because that's the easiest way to do it. Like, so, what? That, that's pretty much the movie, right? Nothing else happened. Oh, no, no. Another funny part we didn't mention. There, there's a well in the middle of the town, right? It has a sign that says, don't drink the water. That's right. right. Now, the first thing, the first thing that he does. fucking Shaggy Two Dope Sugar Wolf saw when he walked into town was a well. And the well is silent and said, don't drink. But maybe he didn't see it or yeah. didn't care. And he pulls up the well. The well already has a ladle yeah, in it. Yeah, it has a bucket and a ladle. So, yeah, the sign says, don't drink, and there's a ladle in the yeah, bucket. Yeah, so that's inviting danger. So he's like, he's like about to sip it, and then that's the first time he ever meets um, Dirty Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez. Exactly. And Dirty Sanchez slaps her hand and is like, you don't do that, my friend. Yeah. Because he points and he's the acid. Coal like mines. The, the, the sand is sizzling. Yeah. He says, that water's polluted by the acid from the coal mines yeah. down the street. Exactly. So, and then you said, well, why the fuck don't they, like, block up the well? Because why do they still have the well erected with the working pulley system? Yeah, with a ladle in it. Inviting with the fucking... <laughs> do they want... You know what I think? I what? think they want to kill off the illiterates in town. Maybe. That could be it. That's, that's, that could that's be probably exactly why the town's population is only 100. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's natural selection at its finest. Uh, so this well is is there. And uh, when, uh, when Big Baby Chips is killed, his men are not happy with it. Uh, and the, the the masked, you know, no-named Austin bodyguard with the shotgun tricks tries, you know, to, to murder him, tries to, like, sneak up behind him, but Dirty Sanchez comes up behind him, he's like, don't you move, 
And uh, and he ends up knocking him into the acid well. Yeah. And and yeah. And then, dude, there was that whole thing after the credits too. What was? Yeah. That? No. 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 Bef- like during the credits. Like okay. So yeah. I guess the movie's over after that. I guess the whole town yeah. lives in peace and stuff. And then you know the credits had where they're all celebrating at the bar. Yeah, just and every character in the movie. I guess like the henchmen together. were playing in the band together. Yeah. And they were, like, doing part of a song, and then um, we see Big Baby Chips, even though he's dead, pops up the piano and says, Big Baby Chips, never dead. And he has, yeah. like, dual AK-47s. And, and just starts and he's firing off in the saloon, yeah. and everyone's okay with it, and they're partying. Yeah. And, but, but they had, you know, Violent J is Big Baby Chips, and the yeah. titles, Shaggy Too Dope, so I guess, I don't know, movies do that sometimes. Yeah, I guess. So we can't knock into that. But it just felt out of place. Well, like I really said, that could have been like the final shootout. Right. That would have been a much better ending. Okay, we're starting. We're gonna start to wrap it up because it's gonna be a long one. But yeah. YouTube supports like fucking hour and a half long stays yeah, nowadays. It doesn't matter now. Yeah. And it's gonna be it's like, like audio like hour versions. Of it's gonna be just cat. audio, and then I'm just gonna put up one picture the whole time. I'm not gonna put too much production into it. But yeah. what I will say is that um, when we watched it, we had a good time. Exactly. Because like we said, like we said earlier. Because we're not I regret watching it. Yeah. Because. We don't have a chip on our shoulder, and we're not angry at stuff that we don't think is worthy. Yeah. <laughs> we're just kind of like, oh, exactly. isn't it cute that they try... Well, no, I'm not going to say that, because, no. like, it was good, kind of, in it a way. It's like I said it's earlier. It's not high art, but it's, the like, effort. satisfying on the visceral level, and some people are just into the visceral level. Exactly. you got to take it for what it is. Yeah. you got to take it for what it is. So this is us trying to be serious movie reviewers, guys. That's right. No, no we're not. Ebert, that's, that's not what You're this is going to be. Ebert. I don't even know what those dudes look like, really. Oh, wow. <laughs> they look like shit. <laughs> Two old guys. God, man, I'm trying to re- thought, I tr- I'm trying to think of what I was going to say, because what I just said then was a disclaimer. Um, I don't remember. I'm not you. Okay, one well, more. Okay, I remember now. We had a good time watching this movie because they did, like, the small things, the individual things. We just liked the ideas, and we could, like, recognize what, what it was. Exactly. We, and yeah. it, it made us giggle apart, and I had a good roller coaster time watching yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I had fun watching it, and even though, like, it's, like, not an artsy-fartsy movie. Yeah. It wasn't It's bad. the Insane Clown Posse movie. It's what the more Insane Clown Posse more? movie. Please. You should watch it. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Yeah, no. But it's getting pretty late for us, so we got to wrap it up. Yep. It was fun. Hopefully the audio quality turns out good because we've just had this little tape recorder in the middle of us. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. But, I mean, (laughs) we just told you guys the entire movie, so whether or not you have Netflix or want to just search on the internet and watch it, I mean, fucking, the power lies in your hands, man. Exactly. We're like Captain Planet. We're giving (laughs) you the power. Did I tell you they're making a movie of that? Live action? I don't care anymore. I don't care. I don't care. They did fucking Battleship. I don't fucking care. Ah, and Rihanna was in it. They're going to do a Mr. Potato Head movie. Fuck the world. Are you serious? Or is that a joke? Yeah, this is Nick and Cody on tape. Peace.